Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program or MPNP, which is one of the most popular and successful immigration programs in Canada. I will explain what MPNP is, its benefits, the associated program streams, and how to apply for the International Skilled Worker Stream, which is the most relevant to many of you. So stay tuned till the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. So what is MPNP? The MPNP or Manitoba PNP is a program that allows Manitoba to nominate skilled workers, international students and business investors who want to settle and contribute to the province's economy. Let's now discuss how you can benefit yourself from this program. Firstly, one of the special advantages is that even your close friends who have been living in the province for a year can endorse your application and you will become eligible to apply and gain additional points towards your expression of interest. Your family members can also endorse your application to get you additional points. Note that they are not sponsoring you, but they are just endorsing your application. I will explain more about this later on in this video. So please keep watching and hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Secondly, you can get a faster processing time than other federal immigration programs. The average processing time for NPNP applicants is six months compared to 12 months or more for some federal programs. Thirdly, you can get a higher chance of getting an invitation to apply for permanent residency. The NPNP has a higher nomination allocation from IRCC, which means that it can invite more applicants than other provinces. Let's discuss the program streams now. Manitoba PNP has three program streams, skilled worker, international education, and business investor. Each stream has its own eligibility criteria and pathways. In this video, I will focus on the skilled worker stream. The skilled worker stream has two substreams, skilled worker in Manitoba, and skilled worker overseas. The skilled worker in Manitoba substream is for workers who are currently working in Manitoba or have a job offer from Manitoba employer. The skilled worker overseas substream is for workers who have a connection to Manitoba through relatives or friends, previous education or work experience, or an invitation from Manitoba PNP under strategic recruitment initiative. For people looking to move from overseas to Canada, skilled worker overseas stream is for you because you don't need any job offer to apply under this stream. Here are the various steps involved in the application process. Let's discuss it step by step. The first step to apply for international skilled worker stream is to submit an expression of interest or EOI online through the Manitoba PNP website. You will need to create an online profile and provide some basic information about yourself such as your age, education, work experience, language ability and connection to Manitoba. You will also need to answer some questions related to your adaptability and employability in Manitoba. Your expression of interest profile will be assessed for certain evaluation criteria and you will be given a score out of 1000 points using the Manitoba PNP point system. The minimum score required to submit an EOI is 60 points. So let's discuss the factors of assessment for the point system. The first factor is language proficiency. This factor measures the ability of the candidate to communicate in one or both of Canada's official languages, English and French. The candidate must provide official results of a recent MPNP approved language test such as IELTS as a proof of language proficiency. The test scores are converted to Canadian language benchmark CLB level which range from 1 to 12. The candidate can claim points for their first official language and their second official language if applicable. The maximum points for this factor are 125. Second factor is age. This factor considers the age of the candidate at the time of submitting their EOI. MPNP prefers candidates who are between 21 and 45 years old as they are more likely to adapt to the labor market and contribute to the economy for a longer period. The maximum point for this factor are 75. Third factor is work experience. This factor evaluates the work history of the candidate in the past five years. Only full-time jobs of six months or longer are considered. 
एम पी एन पी अवार्ड्स मोर पॉइंट्स फॉर कैंडिडेट्स हु हैव मोर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस स्पेशली इफ देर ऑक्यूपेशन इज इन हाई डिमांड इन मैनीटोबा और इज फुली रेकोगनाइज बाई अ प्रोविंशियल लाइसेंसिंग बॉडी द मैक्सिमम पॉइंट फॉर दिस फैक्टर आर वन सेवेंटी फाइव फोर्थ फैक्टर इज एजुकेशन दिस फैक्टर असेसिस द लेवल ऑफ एजुकेशन ऑफ द कैंडिडेट बेस्ड ऑन देयर कम्प्लीटेड पोस्ट सेकेंडरी प्रोग्राम्स द एम पी एम पी गिवस मोर पॉइंट्स फॉर कैंडिडेट्स हु हैव हायर लेवल्स ऑफ एजुकेशन सच एज मास्टर्स डिग्री और डॉक्टरेट्स ट्रेड सर्टिफिकेट्स आर ऑल्सो रेकोगनाइज बाई एम पी एन पी द मैक्सिमम पॉइंट फॉर दिस फैक्टर आर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव फिफ्थ फैक्टर इज अडेप्टेबिलिटी दिस फैक्टर इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन फॉर द स्किल्ड ओवरसीज स्ट्रीम एज इट मेजर्स द कनेक्शन ऑफ द कैंडिडेट टू मैनीटोबा एंड देयर पोटेंशियल टू सेटल सक्सेसफुली इन द प्रोविंस द कैंडिडेट मस्ट हैव एट लीस्ट वन टाइप ऑफ कनेक्शन टू मैनीटोबा सच एज हैविंग अ क्लोज रेलेटिव ऑफ फ्रेंड इन द प्रोविंस हैविंग प्रीवियस एजुकेशन और वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इन मैनीटोबा और हैविंग एन इन्विटेशन फ्रॉम एन पी एम पी अंडर अ स्ट्रेटेजिक इनिशिएटिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव अ क्लोज रेलेटिव ऑफ फ्रेंड हु इज़ अ परमानेंट रेजिडेंट और सिटीजन ऑफ कैनेडा लिविंग इन मैनीटोबा फॉर एट लीस्ट वन ईयर यू कैन गेट टू हंड्रेड पॉइंट्स If you have completed at least one academic year of full-time study in Manitoba within the past five years, or at least six months of continuous full-time work experience in Manitoba within the last five years, you can get hundred points. If you have received an invitation for MPNP under Strategic Recruitment Initiative, such as attending an overseas recruitment mission or exploratory visit organized by MPNP. or being interviewed by an MPNP officer during an overseas visit by MPNP you can get additional 500 points MPNP also gives additional points for candidates who have ongoing employment in Manitoba or who plan to immigrate outside of Winnipeg the maximum point for this factor are 500 sixth factor is risk assessment This factor deducts points from candidates who have connections to other provinces in Canada such as having close relative work experience or study in another province. This is because Manitoba PNP wants to ensure that the candidates are committed to living and working in Manitoba and not using the program as a gateway to other destinations. The maximum deduction for this factor is 200. Now, let's move to step 2. After you submit your EOI, you will be placed in a pool of candidates along with other applicants who have submitted their EOIs. Manitoba PNP will regularly conduct draws from the pool and invite the highest scoring candidate to submit a full application for nomination. Manitoba PNP publishes the results for each draw on their website including the date, number of invitations, minimum score and the stream of the invited candidates. Moving on to step 3. If you are invited to apply for nomination, you will receive a letter of advice to apply or LAA from Manitoba PNP. You will have 60 days to submit a complete and accurate application online through the Manitoba PNP website. You will need to provide supporting documents to prove your identity, education, work experience, language ability, connection to Manitoba and settlement funds. You will also need to pay a non-refundable application fee of 500 Canadian dollars. MPNP will then assess your application based on the information and documents you provided and verify that you meet the eligibility criteria and selection factors of the stream. If your application is approved, you will receive a nomination certificate from MPNP which will give you 600 points for express entry. Step 4 and the final step is to apply for permanent residency to IRCC within 6 months of receiving your nomination certificate you will need to create an online profile through express entry system and upload your nomination certificate along with other documents such as your passport medical exam police clearance and proof of funds IRCC will process your application within 6 months or less and make the final decision on your permanent residency that's it for this video I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might be interested in immigrating to Manitoba. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next